All right, so good afternoon from Surin, Thailand. So I just came here from Sea Sakit. So this place was like around 105 kilometers from Sea Sakit. And this place is uh, bigger than I was expecting. So while I was coming over here, I was surprised to see a big mall, uh, Robinson's over here, uh, because like Sea Sakit also had a similar population of 40,000 like Surin but seaside didn't have a mall but surin does have a big mall over here so yeah i'm just going um, this is my resort by the way i booked it for like 430 something baht from agoda uh, maybe i can give you a look of the room over here and then i'm going outside to meet a uh, net from native furang so most of you who watch like uh, isan videos you would be familiar with net so I'm just going out to meet him. So in today's video, you are going to get to see Surin over here in Isan, Thailand. So without any delay, let's get started with this video and let's first meet Nat and then we will explore the city. Too many crows over here. <laughs> so this is my resort over here that I booked for like 450 baht. I think it's less than 450, which is like around uh, 12 USD so I can give you a look of this room from inside over here. This is a VIP room of this resort So from inside the room looks something like this. It's an air-conditioned room, which is a good thing uh, Anyway, we got a small sitting area over here So yeah, this is what you can get for this price over here in Surin the bedroom is surprisingly big and clean so yeah a good resort over here in surin but but now let's go outside and let's meet native farang or net over here all right so this is the view of surin from a rooftop bar over here so this is how surin looks like uh, the bar is called Hip Rooftop Bar and you must be familiar with Nate over here. Uh, so Hi guys. <laughs> he is a native Furan. Yeah, I'm, na I'm native to Surin, so I was born here. Uh, yeah. This is where I came from. So even though it doesn't sound like it, I sound like I was from Britain. So, so, so you, you live in Surin now for how many uh, months? I've been here three months now. I've just moved back. So I'll just move back to Surin, but yeah. I plan on staying for a while. I guess most of the people already know you because <laughs> <laughs> you have been you doing YouTube. <laughs> no, I, I guess we have same, many people yeah. are same. Like, uh, so uh, you you have been doing the native funds since a long time. Uh, it's been like one year and six months, right? Yeah, about, yeah. about a year and a half. Cause we've yeah. been, I started the channel when we moved back to Thailand. So we've been in Thailand about a year and a half. So. So yeah, the native around the game for a year and a half. Yeah, so do check it out. <laughs> most of most, I, but I guess we are, have same audience. So it's just family content now. I just film things that I do around, you know, Isan now. Yes, yeah, so Surin to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's on. So yeah, you you are going to get to see Surin on the Nat on Native Frank channel. Yeah. But yeah, uh, for me, this is the place. Uh, this is the happening place of the city. We got some like bars over here, clubs over here. There is Tamandang just down this lane. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna explore over here as well. It is good to meet Ned over here. We sat over here for a while. Yeah. We talked many oh, yeah, topics. And a chat. Yeah, we, we talked on like <laughs> unusual topics. <laughs> it was good though. It was good to get into like different topics, you know. Yeah. We, I didn't really know what we were gonna talk about today, but you know, yeah, yeah, it, it, it was kind of nice because you cannot talk these topics with mm. Thai people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can only talk yeah. these with a like Farang, <laughs> which you are yeah. <laughs> native Farang. Yeah, uh, I've, I've forgot a lot of Thai, so I can still speak a little bit. So, midnight, <laughs> but I can't read and write Thai anymore, so I'm trying to learn it back. Chai. And I think Sam speaks better Thai than I do nowadays. I speak basic for Thai, <laughs> for faster Thai, Thai, net noise. <laughs> anyway, it was good to be over here, but yeah, maybe we are gonna explore some place over here. This is Surin. Do you know the meaning of Surin? 
I don't honestly. I, thought, I couldn't tell you. Uh, I know it was the home of elephants, so it's the, the yeah. largest population of Asian elephants. So Surin just in means Asia. like uh, God Indra, God of Rain. God of Rain. Yeah, yeah, Frain, Frain. It's fitting. Cause yeah, it's because raining it's now. raining now. <laughs> <laughs> so I was coming over here. I just read Surin. Uh, so I know like so Sur means like God. Yeah. In means Indra. So Surin. Ah, okay. uh, so you didn't even Google that? You just I just Googled it, but I always knew Sur means wow, God. Okay, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, and in is in Thailand means in. See, it's, it's yeah. more Thai than I am now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, let's continue with the video and check out Surin over here. Alright, so we just came to Robinson's over here. That's Nate. <laughs> He's modeling for us over here. Uh, the mall is huge over here. Like, uh, it is starts from here. Coast. We, it's it's way too long even if it has only two floors but it's long yeah 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 so it's good to see let's check it out uh what kind of a mall do we have over here in uh surin so we got some bad music over here So we got SF Cinema over here in this Robinson. So yeah, they got cinemas over here, and that they they mostly have like all of the major brands like Mr. Donut. They have like a Starbucks over here. So a good place, good shopping center over here in Surin. No, so I smell man. Yeah, I'm not the only fan, man. No, no, we're in the shopping mall now. So. There are many friends over here. <laughs> yeah, I've seen a few. Yeah, with many, it means many, right? All right, over here we got a small uh, outdoor market uh, at the Robinson over here. So we are just going to go and explore it and see what they have for uh, sale over here. Mostly this area does have clothes, so we are just gonna go and see the food area as well. Okay, so it's time to say bye to Ned over here. Yeah. Uh, to check out Native Fun because I guess most of you already know Ned because most of people who watch me watch him as well. So yeah, it was nice yeah. to meet him. So Thanks for coming to Surin, Sam. Hopefully he, uh, you enjoy your experience here in Surin. Yeah, it's a good city. Um, yeah, so I, I was surprised to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was not expecting it to be big based on the population. Mm -hmm. Like it's only forty thousand. But it looks good, so yeah. Yeah, there's enough here for you know, for people enough like. things to do, you know, restaurants, there's bars, we've got a mall, you know, lots of night markets. Yeah, plenty of things to do in Surin to yeah. keep you occupied. So, so uh, Ned will be showing you more places, so yeah, you can check them out on his channel. But I'm just over here for the night. Tomorrow I'm going to Buriram, so I'm yeah, just yeah. heading over there. But he would be making videos over here. So somebody who is watch, watching this video for information on Surin, you would find it on Native Fun. <laughs> Cheers, Sam. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, take care, Sam. <laughs> all right so you get a plenty of nightlife over here in surin as well so we got this tavandang over here and some artists are gonna perform over here so anyway uh this is the size of tavandang over here the one in ubon was huge and 
uh, like uh, the hostel mate was like this is the biggest club he had been to in his life so yeah in Obon it was used but over here it's a small but you still get a club over here in Surin if you are into uh, nightlife All right, so I made it to a night market over here in Surin. Uh, this is a walking street over here as well, and it looks beautiful. So we got some lights up, and we got a screen over there. But yeah, let's see what they have. Uh, I want soy milk again because they have like fresh milk, so it tastes good. Let's get going. Some good light work over here. So a small shrine over here. There are many temples and buildings over here that looks like old Khmer style like this one. It's cool. Alright, so let's try these breads over here. <laughs> Definitely they are sweet, but I'm a sweet tooth, so yeah, I have to eat them. It's good, it's sweet. Uh, I would say too sweet and has a taste of butter as well. So yeah, the Thai breads are delicious. Some good light work over here. And yeah, this place is called Night Bazaar Surin. So if you search on Google, you will find this place easily, Night Bazaar Surin. Alright, so right next to the Night Bazaar, we have this uh, another market. It's a fruit market over here in Surin. So I'm over here, so I'm just going to check out this place as well. We got stalls inside, but they are closed. So we just got some stalls outside over here. Anyway, it's good to have many markets like these because mostly like locals shop at these markets for food and everything. So mostly people are sitting over here to have their meals over there. So yeah, a good place to eat street food over here in Surin. Alright, so this is the Surin railway station over here. So the town or city is well connected with the rail network, uh, with the trains to like uh, coming in from Buriram and from Sisaket. So yeah, uh, it's easy to come to Surin on a train over here because there are so many local trains over here. So if you want to come to Surin, train can be a good way to come over here from Bangkok. So over here we got a park known as Suvanrak. So this park is basically around this uh, water body over here. So it's mostly just a like a running track you can call it. Uh, it goes till over there. So yeah, this is a like a big running track you can call it like that over here in Surin. So over here, this is Changwan roundabout over here. This is uh, one of the most famous places over here in Surin. So if you search Surin, this place do come up often. So yeah, this is like a good spot over here in Surin. It's near to this park, Suanrak Park. So we got a few stalls over here and people are sitting to eat their meals. And this place is just at this roundabout. This is the most famous spot over here in Surin. Uh, these Chang teats and we got some elephants over there too. Let's go up close and see the monument.
all right so just made it to the resort and we have these curtains over here so i can just close them to for privacy of my vehicle over here all right so it's one o'clock right now i was sleeping but <laughs> i just couldn't sleep i just woke up uh, because i felt like my nose was getting close so i just came to the seven to buy a dome it's one o'clock right now where is it all right so it's the time to check out from the hotel it's uh, already afternoon now uh 12 o'clock so yeah uh it's the time to check out from over here but it was nice to be in surin it was nice to catch up with nate and talk to him about many things so do check out his channel about life in thailand and about surin in general so yeah for me i'm just going to go to buriram now and continue this isan motorbike tour so for for now i will end this video over here have a good day ahead i will see you in the next video till then peace